the latest heart-wrenching victim of the July 4th parade shooting. Eight-year-old Cooper Roberts was removed from a ventilator today, but his spinal cord is severed. He is paralyzed from his waist down. Um, he doesn't understand currently why, why he can't stand up. How do you explain that to a child? I can't even begin to understand how you would explain that to a child. Cooper's mom, Keeley, was shot in the leg. His twin brother, Luke, was hit by shrapnel, but is recovering. And even after Keeley got shot, she laid on both of her boys, trying to protect them um, from injury. America is praying for Cooper. A GoFundMe page topped $750,000 for mounting medical costs. We're also learning shocking new details about the turbulent home life of Robert Cremo III, the 21-year-old accused shooter. Police reports show nine 911 domestic dispute calls from the family home starting in 2010 as the marriage between Cremo's parents slowly crumbled. The suspect's uncle, Paul Cremo, told CNN that the family didn't see the warning signs of mental problems that now seem obvious. He had no mental episodes or nothing. There's no signs of nothing that I had seen. Cremo's bizarre behavior included driving around town with a sex doll in the passenger seat of his car with the mysterious number 47 painted on the side. We are enraged, sickened, aggrieved. Meanwhile, funerals were held today for three of the victims. 63-year-old former librarian Jackie Sondheim, great-grandfather Nicholas Toledo Zaragoza, and 88-year-old Stephen Strauss, the oldest to die. His granddaughter Maisie sang a moving tribute. Am I unwise to open up your eyes to run to me?